here i have the logism software installed and you can always go and go on google type logism and it's available on sourcewatch you can download uh, the latest software and uh, here the in logism you have to know about this five main thing one is the menu it comes with this all the names file file edit project simulate fpga menu window help and then here we have the shortcut that's called toolbar here we have the shortcut for most of the things and explorer pane here you can access the gates memory anything you want you can access right here and this is attribute pane uh, this attribute pane here you change the properties for example let's say you want to change the bits value like number of bits this is the place to go and change it and here this is the one we use to design a circuit now let's look at some example let's say i'm just creating an i just want to create and get and for input we put the square one square this square green dot green color that's the input so we let's put two input right here and uh, let's put this one as the output okay you can always name the input and output by going here uh, let's name this one as like x and y and we can name the output as well just by clicking this and then here i'm just gonna put c okay now to analyze the behavior we can click this hand sign right here change the inputs like if you know the and get you know that uh, and gates are like it's only turned on when both of them are one otherwise it's going to be turned off so if you change this one to one it's still turned off if you change this one into one it's still turned off but if you only when you have uh, both of them one then only it's going to turn off so that's the behavior of the and get now to look at the behavior you can go to this okay let me see where it is yeah, i just want to see the behavior of this okay um da, 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 da. okay i'm not sure which one is it let me try this okay it should be somewhere here it says a uh, circuit behavior or something i'm looking at it um let's look at all of them at circuit unload uh, it's circuit uh, it is circuit appearance options simulate enable restart do, 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 do. okay maybe i right click and see uh, no attributes no so it, I, I, I'm not sure like I will maybe I'll make a next video showing that okay I don't see the option that shows the actually like there's an option that you can see the proof table and everything of this uh, circuit so here I, I couldn't find it but uh, let's leave it here so here this is the AND gate now let's play with the let's put an OR gate and then put the exact same input for this one and we can put another AND gate here and connect uh, not at the end of this this is like if you connect not at the end of this is the NAND gate 
you can directly put the NAND gate by going to gates and putting it here NAND gate and this one is exactly the same so that uh, you should know okay let's try let's see how this circuit behaves so here I change the input to one still one input uh, this both of them one is turned off both of them zero is turned on okay it's not giving any pattern related to any circuit any gates we studied so this is like ran some random circuit it's only turning off when both of them are on we don't have a gate like that so this is a simple uh, circuit so you can actually uh, build something like this like very complex one using this uh, logism software and that's it for this video i hope you guys find this video helpful thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe my channel see you guys on my next video